New developments in the January 6th attack investigation. ABC News has learned federal prosecutors are focusing on the actions of former President Donald Trump and efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Faith Abube reports. New signs that the Department of Justice's large-scale criminal investigation into the deadly January 6th Capitol attack is inching closer to former President Donald Trump. Sources tell ABC News in recent grand jury interviews with former Trump administration officials, prosecutors have sought information about Trump's role in the failed push to subvert the 2020 presidential election. Among recent witnesses, two top aides to former Vice President Mike Pence, including his former chief of staff, Mark Short. This, as according to The Washington Post, in April, federal investigators obtained phone records of key Trump administration officials and aides like former chief of staff Mark Meadows. We will hold accountable anyone who was criminally responsible for attempting to interfere with the transfer, legitimate lawful transfer of power from one administration to the next. Attorney General Merrick Garland in an interview with NBC News' Lester Holt indicating that that does not preclude Trump, regardless of whether he plans to run for office in 2024. We pursue justice without fear or favor. As the DOJ's January 6th inquiry escalates, Trump returning to Washington, D.C. for the first time since leaving office. Trump calling for law and order days after witnesses testified before the House January 6th committee that he refused to call off the armed mob and instead watched them on television as they attacked the U.S. Capitol. There is no longer respect for the law and there certainly is no order. Shortly after Trump's speech, President Biden tweeting in part, quote, I don't think inciting a mob is respect for the law. And the House January 6th committee also released a new testimony of former acting Defense Secretary Chris Miller. Miller denies claims by Trump administration officials that the former president ordered troops to be ready to deploy to the Capitol on January 6th. In Washington, Faith Abube, ABC News.